Good afternoon and thank you uh, for joining us. So you have been talking to the Peace Council on the back of this CDD uh, UNDP report. Uh, what can you tell us? Revelation that came out is the fact that women are now participating in political vigilantism. Do not forget, this follows some intensive work that's been done by the National Peace Council and also uh, the passing of the law. We're talking about the Vigilantism and Related Offences Act. I have here uh, the woman in charge of the NCC. I'm talking about Madame Josephine Nkroma. She's the chairperson of the NCC. What is your reaction to this latest survey? I think it is alarming. It is alarming for us to find that um, this has become so pervasive and when you go down to the ground you find that more groups are coming up. But it means that as a country we need to step up our efforts in stamping out vigilantism. The National Peace Council formed the technical committee and um, there's been a lot of dialogue between the two parties. What we need to ascertain is who is sponsoring these groups or who is controlling and organizing them. We have a law family in place, a law that should address some of these issues. So we need the evidence and um, this is an opportunity really for us to test the law. The earlier we test the law, if we find that, that indeed there are perpetrators uh, or people who are flouting the Vigilantism Act, we should begin to implement the law to its full rigor, punish people so that it becomes a deterrent. So on, in one breath, that is what we, can be, we should be doing. But also, we should continue the education and awareness raising about the ills of vigilantism and how that can actually break the fragile peace that we have in this country. Um, this is worrying because we, we probably sit here in some illusory, you know, we, we, we sit here assuming that there's some peace that we are, we are experiencing. But there are things that are simmering between the semblance of peace. And the earlier we address it, the better for us, particularly because we are going into 2020. These groups are... Uh, are, are, are getting together in order for them to sell their ways of violence to people. Yes, so we, we, we see that parties in power have all the power when they are in government. So what do you think the government is supposed to do in this regard and uh, also law enforcement agencies? Well, I must say that government, government, government sponsored the bill, the vigilantism bill, and today we have an act. So there's, there's been some goodwill that has been shown. But more importantly, we need to ensure that the agencies, especially the law enforcement agencies, are properly resourced and, re and tooled to do their work. We should all come behind them and ensure that some of the issues that came up as root causes of vigilantism, being mistrust of the law enforcement agencies even, are addressed and allow the agencies to go all out without fear or favor and root out these bad elements or negative elements in our midst and begin to enforce the, the law rigorously, punishing them. Up to now we know that up to 25 years you can be in jail for flouting the, the, the Vigilantism Act. So let's test it now. This is the time for us to test it. So with the kind of survey we have, if we have enough evidence that can tie these people to these, crim or these criminal elements, to these acts of training of vigilantism, then we should at all costs do that now and that will save us a deterrent going into 2020. All right, thank you very much. So that was uh, Madam Josephine Nkroma. She's the chairperson of the NCC. We have here Reverend Dr. Ni Amodako. He is a board member of the National Peace Council. Reverend, thank you very much. Um, the, the survey, is it not worrying? Are, are you not concerned that after all the works that the National Peace Council has put into ending uh, vigilantism, we still have it rife in our country. Well, you know what? I think that what happened was that the survey was being conducted at the time that we were George Owen talking with the leadership of the uh, uh, MPP and NDC, and at the same time, uh, the parliament was working towards the bill that became law. So the 
findings that has come were uh, as a result of what people or the, the researchers, yes, had conducted during the period. But, but don't you think it is positive feedback for us? It is a positive feedback. My, my, my only consolation uh, is that now there is a law. The law that binds vigilantism. So if anybody decides that they want to take the law into their own hands or go ahead and continue to do that, the law will take its course and it will deal with them. Now, our role as a peace council will be to facilitate, to work with the various laws enforcing agencies to make sure that the law takes its course. Because, you see, we have sat with the various uh, political parties where these findings have found that some of their people are involved in doing that. And we are talking and we are persuading them and we are pleading with them that they should make sure that these things do not happen. Yes, but now women are involved. Yes, I know women. The, is, the, the findings say that there are some women involved. And in, in our dialogue with them and everything that has, has happened, we are also anticipating that they will deal with it and nip it in the bud so that this thing will not continue to thrive. Because if it does, the law will be made to take its course. All right, thank you very much. Thank Reverend you. Dr. Nia Modako is a board member of the National Peace Council, and you heard it all from yourself. And uh, what they're saying is it is time for the law to be enforced. So from the AMA headquarters here in Accra, Selom Amenya, TV3 News. Right here in Accra uh, also, uh, and the TV3 uh, studio, a news hub.